Hey, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Were you all able to hear the, um, the audio? Okay, that's weird. Oh god, please don't tell me we're gonna have technical difficulties right out of the gate. Oh, wait a minute. That's why- oh. <laughs> Chat, I forgot to unsplit my audio tracks. My audio tracks were still split. <laughs> right off the gate, we're fucking everything up. Alright, you should be able to hear it now. Yep, everything's working now. Cool. Alright. <laughs> Fun fact, this is my most dropped level. Like, outright. I have dropped this level so many times, it's not even funny. Hopefully, sharing the window like this doesn't cause lag, because uh, the reason I record my whole desktop when I do completions is this camera style thing normally usually causes lag, but I don't know, maybe it'll be fine while we're streaming. Well, I have to record anyway, but I also haven't tried it since 2.2 came out, so who knows? We'll see. But yeah, I've put in a lot of work on Forest Temple, and this level, I have it in two runs. It is so unbalanced and so unforgiving. I don't know, it, it's it's one of the most raw levels I have played. Okay, so I'm gonna run through, I'm gonna do a practice run so I can tell you all what Forest Temple is actually like, because this is one of those levels where it it's a lot harder than it looks. So you start off pretty typical temple level gameplay, it's nothing to write home about, but right off the bat, the level smacks you in the face right here with some of the most aggressive timings. Like, this is very strange gameplay, and it's something you wouldn't understand unless you actually sat down and played it, but this is- the best way I can describe it is it constantly punishes you for buffering. But the other thing to note is if I die, you look at the spikes here, the bushes that are used to decorate the spikes almost give them fixed hitboxes. It's obviously unintentional, but it is a very good thing to note, because there's a lot of moments where I find myself landing on the right-hand side of the spike and dying. So right there, you land on the corner, not as hard as it looks, and then you can just hold for all three of those triples. So this is the first hard click. You need to jump and hit this pad. If I can compare it to anything, it's like the third coin in Polargeist. Alright, so, yeah, this, you have to land pretty precisely there, and then you have to do this blind jump, which isn't as bad as it looks, but it's still hard. And then, I swear to god, this UFO is harder than the, uh, UFO in Bloodbath. It is so out of nowhere. Mishi's UFO in Bloodbath is less tight than this. The click pattern I've found is to just hold into this, and then do three slow clicks, and then even your clicks out. And then you have this ship where, I don't know why, it's probably just because I don't have a lot of experience with half-speed mini ship, but I, I find this ship to be really easy to underestimate. Like, I die here a lot from zero, so expect to see many deaths here. And then this part. All I gotta say is, uh, the bushes strike back. The, I don't know why Megahack's hitbox view is kind of fucked. The oriented hitboxes are not actually there. Pay attention to the dark orange ones. Those are the real ones. But yeah, this is a way tighter corridor than it looks. It's, it's really strange. Because this is, this is what you have to work with. And obviously, like, you can't see that, so. Okay, yeah, I'm getting lag from this, so I will be sharing my whole desktop. Let me quickly... Well, that sucks. I am gonna have to unfortunately use display capture, and I really didn't want to, so that's not fun. But yeah. So with that, that transition's a bit weird. I find the best way to do it is to make sure that you fall into the ship portal and then click the second you become the ship to straighten yourself out. And then you do this, and then you buffer in to get one immediate jump, and then three really fast, two, and then four slow ones, one, and then you do two slow ones, and then two fast ones. So it looks like this. Uh, boop, 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 
boop, boop, boop, boop, boop. Like that. That is the best way to do that as far as I've been able to find. And then this part uh, got fixed in 2.2. This used to be way worse in 2.1. Uh, this part is just the decode wave. So with that, that robot portal, hold into it. It gives you a little bit of a mid-air jump. And then after that, it's just memorize the part. I will say, this is one of the rare parts where... Okay, so with this part, there's a big debate. I see it crop up because of gimmick Twitter accounts a lot. But it's the whole debate of where do you actually look at the screen when you play. I personally look on the far right. I am a sight reader. I find with this part, it becomes easier if you look directly at the icon. And it's because of those last two. And then this ball, biggest choke point of the level. It is very possible to die here. And then with this part, you want to jump on the, the bottom one and then jump once because that top block is fake. And then when you're inside of it, you want to jump over. And then that's fake, you go through, and then that's fake. It kind of just feels like if you took a medium demon and buffed it, to hard demon. That's the best way to put it. Yep, I'm gonna die there a lot. That ship is so sketchy. Wow! Okay, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> that was so sudden. What the fuck? <laughs> sure. What the fuck? I'll say this, by the way. The level is a hard demon. I know it fluctuated between hard and insane demon a lot, and I get why, but it's just a really, really learny uh, hard demon. It is on the cusp, though. I can see why it's debated. I will say, though, I'll never ever say that I hate the Temple series. Like, a lot of them haven't aged well, but I'll never say I hate them, and it's not even an out-of-respect thing, because obviously I'm nice out of respect, but I am a huge Legend of Zelda fan, and these levels, especially for 1.9, embody uh, what the temples in Zelda feel like so well. What the fuck? I jumped the quad without landing on the block! What?! How the fuck did I do that? I jumped over the block and still made the quad. What the fuck? What is the worst temple series gameplay? I'd say Shadow. Shadow's fakes are really irritating. Water Temple is overhated, but still bad. Uh, Forest Temple, Lava Temple, and Fire Temple are really good. Desert Temple is a 2.0 level, so it's got a lot of uh, 2.0 stuff hasn't aged the best, but it's still not terrible. I'd say the best out of them all is probably Lava, though. I love Lava Temple. Lava Temple's great. Of course, if you get into fan-made stuff, obviously uh, Temple of Time is the best one. I mean, I okay, I don't understand the point of 1.9 remakes. I really don't. Because oftentimes you look at them and it's like, wow, how impressive. It's insert level here, but worse. That's it. Like, yeah, it's impressive that you were able to make an accurate adaptation in 1.9, but why? It's like, it, people have done it with Limbo in 1.9, and it's like, um... Well, there goes the one thing that made Limbo the most popular out of anything, the keys. What the fuck?! What?! Also, thank you for becoming a member. What the fuck just happened? Also, why did I not get the, um, the pop-up? So, uh, this is what's supposed to happen when someone donates. <laughs> oh. 
But unfortunately, it's not working, so, um... <laughs> I still can't believe I got 86 out of nowhere. What the fuck even was that? Alright, I got a death at the end, and now that I'm, like, locked in and ready to get to the end, I'm just gonna die to the first ship about a million fucking times. Do you guys want to know a bug that really drives me nuts, actually, and a bug that I've been wanting to see get fixed? Let's enter practice mode and play the level in practice. Okay, so chat, while we're in this part, just to establish it, to explain the bug, uh, I'm moving my mouse all over and it's not leaving the window, right? Lock cursor is functioning. So now let's finish this practice run. So now we're gonna hit the end wall, right? And now we're gonna immediately start playing from zero. Look, lock cursor isn't working anymore. This bug drives me fucking nuts. If you pause the game like I just did and then hit restart, lock cursor starts working again. I don't know why, but that bug just keeps fucking me over and it is the most annoying thing. And most people don't play this in windowed, so it's not that well known. What do you mean level is up to date? It has a start position in it. What the fuck? Delete. Yeah, that made sense. Have I tried the click between frames mod? Yes, I have, and it is like fucking butter. It is amazing. It needs to be official. Rob needs to add it. It's so good. Uh, until it gets either, like, here's the thing, until Rob either says, I'm okay with people using this, or he adds it to the game himself, I'm not using it just because leaderboard legitimacy, I don't want to, like, you know, use something that's considered a cheat by leaderboard rules. Lots of people think that I call, I'm calling people cheaters for using bypass and, uh, uh, click between frames, by the way. I'm not. I'm just saying it shouldn't be allowed on any leaderboards. Like, in the in-game leaderboards, the demon list, all that stuff, yeah. Are there any people with epilepsy that play video games? Like, I know that might be a... Uh, sorry if that's a distasteful question. It, it just comes from a place of ignorance, I'm sure, but... I honestly always just wondered, because, like, when I boot up a video game console, right? Especially an older one. Like, if you boot up the 3DS or the Wii or whatever, they all are, like plastered with epilepsy warnings and i'm just wondering like is there anyone with epilepsy that actually plays video games like and if so they do okay they know what to avoid okay fair enough because i've literally like every time i boot up the wii right like if i ever boot up the wii to play some fucking brawl or whatever i i the first thing i see is if you have epilepsy video games are dangerous contact your doctor and I, and I always just wonder, you know? I also know there's different types of epilepsy, but in this case, I'm referring to specifically photosensitive. I gotta say, as a kid, those warnings always traumatized me, though. Because, like, uh, as a kid, you don't read the warnings, right? You boot up the Wii and you press A. You don't read it, right? But there was the, this one night where, as a kid, I actually decided, you know what, I'm gonna sit down and read the warning. And I read, this the, uh, video games have flashing lights epilepsy do not play if you're epileptic it could kill talk to your doctor and i'm like i just wanted to play wii sports i just want to i want to hit the ball with the bat i don't want to die nintendo you know because that shit's scary as a kid you boot up your video game console and you start reading about how video games may kill you it's like you know Fuck, dude, no! Two in a row, though. I'm gonna go practice that ship. Clearly, I am underestimating it. Just to make sure that I have it down. Are you fucking kidding me? So I basically just beat it. 
I mean, the only real way I can get any closer now is zero to a hundred. Are you actually fucking serious? We're beating this today, Chad, I swear. I just realized this is the penultimate touch grass demon, isn't it? Maybe that's what I gotta do to beat it. I gotta go touch grass. Nope, never mind. Touching grass killed me. Look, I did it right there. I touched the grass and I died. See? That's 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 proof that touching grass is not a good thing. Oh yeah, you do touch grass at the beginning. You're not wrong. No, dude. Why? Oh, <laughs> fuck. That was such a good run. I felt so confident. Like, I wasn't nervous at the ball. Literally the last hard clicks in the level and I had no nerves. I should have done it. I see the, the funnies rising in chat. Based. I don't know how we got here, but I'm definitely not opposed to it. You know, honestly, a question that never gets explained in Zelda, I feel, and a question that I've always wondered, why are the temples there in the first place? Like, if someone had to build those structures, right? So, like, who just decided to build a thematically accurate temple in the middle of the forest? Why are they there? Like, why is there an underwater temple, you know what I mean? Like, where do they all come from? Religion? Y you think it's like that? You think it's like a mosque? Because, like, maybe, but at the same time, like, what fucking church would require you to, like, put on a pair of steel boots and nearly drown yourself to get into the church? Then again, maybe that's just their form of a baptism, who knows? If only he could. Uh, I wish I, I- I don't have the names of the new hosts of Game Theory memorized, but honestly, that'd be a really fire episode of Game Theory. Why are there temples in Zelda? Because it's- it, it, it is genuinely an interesting question. Like, you'd think with the amount of games we have now, we'd have at least some sort of idea as to why the temples exist. Like, we know what they're being used for, but we don't know why they're there. Also, chat, I gotta show you guys something on the topic of MatPat, okay? Hold on, I gotta pull this up. I'm gonna black out my screen for a sec. Okay, so y'all know the joke, right? About how, like, MatPat should do a Geometry Dash theory, right, chat? I'm sure you've seen those jokes. Well, this is a clip from GT Live. He should be cutting to his de- yeah. This is MatPat's desktop. Do y'all notice anything? Do y'all- do y'all notice anything? Cause I- I certainly do. And, and, uh, the- the Geometry Dash theory is real! <laughs> Why are two of them censored? Good question. My only- uh, my only guess is that maybe he just had his docs lying on his fucking desktop. <laughs> Fowis Temple. <laughs> that is the best fucking chat message I have ever read. Hold the fuck on. We're we're gonna pin that message. Oh, that- <laughs> What?! No shot! No! What the fuck?! Oh, that is the stupidest death! That is so stupid! <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny! I'm not even upset, that is actually a really funny death. 
Holy shit. <laughs> Some person is gonna, like, join my stream, see all the colon threes in chat, not have any context, and just be utterly confused. They're gonna be like an anti-fur, and they're gonna leave my my stream thinking, oh, this guy's a fucking furry. And I don't mind. Ruben Sim enters the chat. Yeah, anti-furs are not welcome. Like, it's okay if you're not a furry, but hating people just because of an art form is really stupid. You wouldn't be surprised if that happened? Honestly, I wouldn't either. Next thing you know, I'm gonna, like, open up Twitter after the stream inevitably ends. I'm gonna, like, open up Twitter, and I'm gonna see a GD News Today post being like, Breaking news. Insert prominent GD community member here has doxed nothing is scary because they're a furry. Oh god, okay, what the fuck is happening? Okay, I think we're back? What the fuck? Are we back? I think we're back. I- I did jinx it, didn't I? What the fuck is happening? I broke everything! You could hear my clicks? Wait, what the fuck? Hang on! What is happening? Okay, I think we're back. Chat, are we back? Okay, we're back. Good. What? <laughs> my, okay. So, you know how, like, down at the bottom of the screen, right, on OBS, you can see, like, all the stream info, like, how long you've been live for, your kilobits per second, your drop frames, all that stuff? My kilobits per second dropped to fucking zero. So that was fun. The anti first got to me, that's what it was. Did it really freeze right when I had said, when the stream inevitably ends? Are you serious? Oh my god. Do you plan to be any more extreme demons? Maybe. It's a hard maybe. I do think I could do Sonic Wave. I really do. Uh, but at the moment, the more likely thing is that I go for some stuff that's easier than Kata. I, 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 okay, after this attempt, I'm gonna explain what's going on with me and difficulty. Okay, I beat it! Let's go! We beat Forest Temple! It's done! Yeah, let's go! Holy shit! Fuck yeah, dude! Forest Temple is done! I knew it was right- I knew it was gonna happen today. I'm so glad I went live. Oh my god, let's fucking go. Well, I did say I was gonna explain what was happening between me and Difficulty after I beat it, but I didn't- or after I finished the attempt, but I didn't expect to actually beat it. Wow. Alright. <laughs> Bruh. That's amazing. Forest Temple is done. Okay, so my thoughts. Uh, well actually, before I give my thoughts, we gotta count attempts. Uh, let me fire up my calculator really quickly. I have an old 2.1 copy that probably doesn't work right. So. Now, before we actually properly counter attempts, most of these attempts, like any attempts that weren't on stream, are old. Like, I'm talking pre-2.2. Because this level, I have dropped it a total of four times. So... Uh, lots of these are super old, just keep that in mind, but they're obviously still legitimate attempts. So, 2,397 plus, uh, Forest Temple 
Yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, 718. 3,115 attempts. I've been wanting to beat this level for so fucking long. Thank you for the $2, Cowpole. Holy shit. That feels nice. It feels so nice to be done with this. So, uh, end of completion review like I usually do for these, uh, although it's weird because I'm on stream, so it's more like I'm actually talking to y'all and not just recording. Uh, this level is really unbalanced, and there are some parts that feel like major choke points, and obviously, like, I call this the fixed hitbox temple because, yeah, uh, obviously unintentional, it's just the way the spikes were decorated with the bushes, but I definitely think that despite all of its issues, this is really fun. Easily the best of the temple levels. It is extremely fun. It is a blast to play. I definitely think now that I've completed it, I like this more than I like Lava Temple. Both are really good, though. Uh, so, yeah, this is a really fun level. I definitely enjoyed it. All right, now uh, let's save to the servers. Let's see. Let's see if it works. The game froze. Uh, GD? You okay? Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Everything is fine. Game just had a seizure for a second. Uh, come on, save the game. Let's go! There we go. We completed Lucky Draw, chat. Alright, so yeah, we beat Forest Temple, and I am really happy. So, I think I'm gonna end stream, you know, because I did what I sought out to do. Thank you for showing up to the stream. And, uh, usual YouTuber interaction reminder stuff for when this gets edited into a, a completion video for YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. Comment below, tell me if you've beaten Forest Temple and if you enjoy it. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching.